Hey guys, Brett Kelly here. Welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday at 45 Drive. Today we are talking about Ceph, and in particular CephFS, and why it is the best distributed file system. So there's a couple things that make CephFS the best distributed file system. But first of all, it is fully POSIX compliant, and it's got full support for Linux extended attributes. So this allows for endless integration into existing Linux applications. So if, you're, if you've got Linux clients, don't worry. Mount this like it's a local file system, and it's, it's going to work great. Obviously, it's a network file system, but you see my point. Um, and second of all, what's really fun is it integrates with Samba very well, which means flawless access to Windows clients into the cluster. Not only um, can you have Windows access, you can have full Windows access control list control over the permissions, which is a big draw for a lot of end users. So the next great thing in CephFS is its snapshots. So just about every file system, distributed file system now, does snapshots. Um, what makes Ceph so great are they're quick and easy with emphasis on the quick. I don't know if you've ever used, like, similarly with ClusterFS. Uh, it takes a minute for it to snap everything and close it off. Ceph will complete its snapshots like that. Obviously, as your file system grows, it takes a little longer, but it's very, very quick. Um, second of all is how easy it is to just get to them. Um, to get to your snapshot, unlike some other uh, applications where you'd have to clone it and mount it or something like that, it is the path of what you're snapshotting and then just append dot snap to the end of it and the name of the snapshot and there's all your files. So while that's really easy, what makes what really adds and makes it greater is its integration into Samba, as I mentioned earlier, plays very nice with shadow copy. So shadow copy is uh, version control. Um, what it is is users can just access their own snapshots and get their old files back. So it just really lightens the load on the admin team should you have to snapshot a bunch of stuff and retrieve files that people have deleted or lost. All right, so uh, the last thing I want to talk about that makes FFS great is its ability to do directory pinning. So to understand that, first you have to understand the way Ceph organizes its data is into storage pools. Storage pools are separated by their... Uh, data protection type, whether that's replication or erasure coding, or by the device that it's on, whether that's hard drives or SSDs. So what that means is if CephFS can use multiple storage pools under one file system namespace, you can have hard drives and SSDs in the same file system. Or you can have scratch storage with one replica and then another pool with a really big, nice erasure coding all in one file system. And you can pin directories in your file system to live on certain pools. So that means, say you're an institution that needs uh, a little bit of really fast storage for maybe their video editing team, but then everything else is just kind of going to be set it and forget it type of data. You could have a big Ceph cluster, a little bit of SSD storage. They would see one file system, one share, but one directory would be fast for the editors and everything else would be slower, more economical, erasure-coded hard drives. Okay, so that's uh, some of the best parts of CephFS. And um, fun fact about Ceph, some people wonder what the name is, C-E-P-H. It's short for cephalopod, which is um, uh, the family class, I don't know, I'm not a marine biologist, for octopuses and squid, uh, those fun little multi-legged creatures that swim in the ocean. Um, but the point is, is they have many legs, like Ceph. It has many pieces, it loses one, it still, still rebuilds and moves on. So if you want to learn more about CephFS or Ceph in general, uh, check out some of our other videos that we've done discussing the topics. Uh, check out our knowledge base. We have some of our uh, experiences written up there to help along. Of course, the Ceph official documentation is solid, as well as the community as a whole, the mailing list, and uh, just everything you can find on the internet. I find it's one of the strongest open source communities um, going. All right, well, thanks for watching. Another weekly tech tip. Um, Throw any comments, questions, or anything below in the comments or uh, email us at info at 45 drives or Instagram or Twitter, whatever social media we're on. Um, if you've got any ideas of any other tips that you want to see personally, we'd love to do it for you. Um, thanks for watching.